I know something about your business and it's that your business has a break even point. Now you might be saying, I don't know who you are, what industry you're in, where you're located in the world. It actually doesn't matter because every single business on the planet has a break even point. And it's actually a critical metric for you as a business owner or as a key employee in a company to really understand what it is and to manage that metric so that you're ultimately being able to drive your company to higher profitability. So what is a break-even point? It's really the point in time where your business has earned enough money to be able to cover all of its fixed costs. So let's think about all the different costs that your company incurs. You can think of it on a particular continuum where some costs are 100% fixed, some costs are 100% variable, and some costs are kind of somewhere in between. They have elements of variable and elements of fixed. So a fixed cost, if you're running a very, very tiny business, maybe a home-based business, maybe your home office is one of your fixed costs. Whether you have one customer or 100 customers, your fixed costs, you're still going to be working out of your home office. Office. A variable cost might be something like you are selling a book and the more books that you sell, the more printing costs that you incur because every single book has a printing cost associated with it. So variable costs can fluctuate based on different variables, but the, the idea is the more the volume increases, the more the cost increase, whereas fixed costs tend to be those things that you're going to incur. You're going to need a website and web hosting, you know, regardless of how many customers you have. Don't get too hung up on, you know, what bucket or where exactly within the continuum, you know, is it fixed? Is it like fixed and variable? Essentially what you're looking for is just come up with a list of for your business, the cost that you're going to incur regardless, tally those all up. What you're then going to do with all of those fixed costs is divide it by your price per customer. So if you were a software company and you were charging, you know, $10 a month or $120 a year, you're going to take those and you're going to divide it and you're going to figure out how many customers do we need to acquire or retain or keep on board to be able to actually break even. That doesn't mean that you've been profitable. That is just the very, very minimum cost that you need to incur to be able to cover your fixed cost. Now, this is slightly different than starting to cover any of the variable costs associated with serving those 83 customers, which is another nuance and another threshold and another metric that you definitely need to be monitoring. But just getting to the point where you're at least covering your fixed costs is a really important metric for you to know and to understand. One of the things that you may be slightly finding challenging is figuring out, well, where do I find a list of my fixed costs versus my variable costs? Well, in reality, you're not going to. Your vendors and your receipts are not going to say, hey, business owner, this was fixed, this was variable. If you look at your accounting records, they're not going to directly tell you that it's fixed or variable. So it's going to be a certain amount of a judgment call. So this is an area that we sometimes call management accounting because it's helping you as the manager of the business be able to make decisions about your business. So just knowing the bare break even point to cover your fixed cost is a really important foundational metric for you to be paying attention to. There's so many areas within management accounting that you can then start to dive into and figure out, you know, for customer 84, all of these other customers, you know, how much am I making per customer, right? Like what are those contribution margin costs associated with those customers? But for now, go get a pen and a paper, jot down our list of all of of your fixed costs, figure out roughly an average amount of what you charge or what you earn per customer and figure out just how many customers you need to have to cover those bare bones costs. It's a metric that you should be sharing with your with your team members, helping anyone in your sales areas kind of understand the rationale for some of the sales thresholds that are being issued. And ultimately one more item to add to your dashboard of financial and accounting metrics that help you make better decisions on your company and lead your company to greater profitability. Be sure to subscribe to Finance Learning Lab's YouTube channel for all kinds of educational videos. And if you're ever interested in joining any of our live programs, be sure to check out financelearninglab.com.